Lie number two that we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves to um, don't feel bad. We don't really tell it to ourselves. I really feel like this comes from other people when they come in, especially right after the loss has occurred. You'll have a lot of grievers come up to you and say, don't feel bad. He wouldn't want you to feel that way. Don't feel bad. She wouldn't want you to be upset right now. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad equals don't feel. Don't feel bad. I once had a griever tell me that they feel like they hear that advice at church all the time. Like that sounded like something they would, they would hear at church. Don't feel bad. God wouldn't want you to feel that way. And here's the truth. Don't feel bad is a lie. It's a lie we tell ourselves. It's a lie we tell other people. And especially for children, they perceive it as don't feel. We tell ourselves don't feel bad. I'm sorry. When I die, I want my kids feeling bad. I want them feeling the grief that they are supposed to feel for me. We've had a lifelong relationship. And when I leave this earth, I want my children to grieve. I want them to grieve what is in their heart. I want them to grieve the pain. I want them to remove the knife that is sticking out of their heart. I want them to do the much needed work about our relationship. Not in a bad way, in a healthy way. I want you to feel bad. I want you to feel as bad as possible for as much time as you can allow so that you can move beyond this pain and start living again, my friend. The don't feeling bad keeps us stuck right here. It keeps us from moving on. I've been saying this lately and I think it is so huge and it's so important for you guys to understand. Grieving is actually done at the third or fourth grade level. It's actually very simple to grieve. And the part of that is feeling the grief. I want you to feel bad. I want you to feel this pain, not in a mean, vicious way. Grief was given to us. It was laid inside of our body to help us process. But we're so smart, we push back against it and we tell people not to feel it. And the truth is, I'm telling you the exact opposite. You feel every bit of that pain that you have right now and you start feeling it today. And eventually you're gonna start seeing this to process start revealing itself and you can start moving forward. You'll start noticing you can look at the pictures, you can have the conversations and you can listen to the voicemails.